Good morning, travelers, pre-med students, and undergraduates. Welcome to Doctors Inn. This is where medical experiences are shared, study strategies are examined, and life lessons with a sprinkle of advice and habits are served. What I would like to do is kind of explore the other breast surgeries that you performed outside of oncology. Okay, outside of cancer surgery. Right. So um, as a breast surgeon, I would say probably about 30% of what we do is cancer and 70% is non-cancer. A lot of people are surprised when they hear that right. because you know, they think breast, uh, breast oncologists 100% uh, cancer, but it's not. I see a lot of women who come in for problems of their breasts that end up not being cancer, but they come in to see me because the primary fear in every woman's mind is, oh my gosh, is it cancer? Is it not cancer? So it's my job to kind of make the distinction and figure out what it is. And so I have a lot of women come in to the office of breast pain. That is a non-surgical problem. A lot of times it's just reassurance and just trying to explain to them the reasons for the breast pain. A lot of women come in with breast cysts. Again, a lot of times that is non-surgical unless it's a complicated cyst, a cyst that becomes infected right. or a cyst that you know, carries some atypical cells. That's something that uh, is also reassurance and sometimes just uh, drainage of the fluid in the office. So women come in with nipple discharge, uh, if it's uh, bloody or if it's uh, water clear and it's coming out of one side, can be pathologic sometimes. So pathologic, meaning that it can be abnormal and it's something that has a small percentage of being associated with cancer. Oh, wow. So a lot of times that's something that we, we take to surgery to remove the abnormal duct and test it. And the test results tell us the majority of the time that it's an intraductal papilloma, which is not a breast cancer, but it's something over time that can uh, morph into a breast cancer. So that's something that we do surgery for, just a minor procedure. We do surgeries for benign breast lumps. Say someone came in with a lump in their breast and we tested it. And uh, the way we tested it is we did a needle, a needle biopsy in the office where we just numb the skin and pass a needle through the numb area and take a small piece of the lump. And we look at the cells under the microscope and we find out that they said benign lump, like a fibroadenoma or a papilloma or just a myriad other uh, benign breast lumps. Um, some of those lumps carry an increased risk for cancer. Some of them don't carry any risk for breast cancer at all. But some women, once they feel a lump in their breast, even though we tell them it's okay, they just don't want it there. Yeah. So a lot of times we'll just go in and do surgery just for removal of a lump. I see. So those, those are minor breast surgeries. So sometimes we see something on a mammogram that looks abnormal that we cannot get with a needle biopsy for diagnosis. So we'll go to surgery to remove it or something that we've done a needle biopsy on on the mammogram and we find out that it's abnormal or atypical. And we want to remove it because we don't want an increased risk for developing breast cancer.